Of course, it's no secret that Kathy Wood is a longtime Tesla bull. Her wild stock price forecasts have been known for some time, and for a while, they were proving to be accurate. However, Tesla's stock price has taken a big hit recently, but Kathy Wood hasn't changed her bullish tone on Tesla stock. In fact, you're going to be shocked or surprised to see her latest price target for Tesla stock. So I'm going to take a look at her bull and bear case scenario, evaluate her reasoning behind this prediction and discuss whether or not I agree with this description and what it could mean for Tesla stock investors longer term. So let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so here we have Kathy Wood's ARC portfolio forecast for where they think Tesla stock price could be by the year 2029, so a five-year forecast. And the expected value is $2,600 per share for Tesla stock. $2,600, that would be a massive price increase from the current $177 per share Tesla stock is currently trading for. So staying true to form, Kathy Woods forecast for Tesla stock forecasts a massive stock price explosion from its currently traded price. Now, the bear case is what surprised me. Even in her bear case, she predicts a $2,000 stock price for Tesla stock from here. So what they're saying is even in a bear case where things do not go well for Tesla, the stock price is still going to increase to $2,000 per share or more than 10x from where it is today. And in the bull case, the stock price could reach $3,100 per share phenomenal increases from where Tesla is currently trading at. So what's behind this bullish outlook? What supports this bullish thesis for explosive stock price gains? Let's take a look. So here is potential or example outlooks from Kathy Wood and what they expect from Tesla. Now, over here we have the 2023 numbers where the company sold just 1.8 million vehicles and generated $81 billion in electric vehicle revenue with $0 from autonomous ride hailing. However, five years from now, even in the bear case, even in a bear case, Kathy Wood expects 5.8 million cars sold from Tesla to generate $250 billion in EV revenue. Also, they expect $603 billion from autonomous ride hailing revenue. And that's in the bear case. In the bull case, they expect 14.4 million cars sold, 394 billion in EV revenue, and 951 billion in autonomous ride hailing revenue. Nearly $1 trillion in ride hailing revenue expected in the bull case. Overall company revenue for 2029 1.2, 1.3 trillion dollars in revenue in their bull case forecast for Tesla in 2029. 1.3 trillion in revenue forecasted for Tesla in 2029. Let that number sink in. Right, right now, the largest companies in the world, Walmart and Amazon, they generated roughly 600 and 700 billion dollars in revenue and Tesla is expected to do roughly twice that amount in 2029, according to their bull case. Now, let's take this one at a time. Okay, first, starting with the bear case for EV cars sold for 2029, roughly tripling from 1.8 million up to 5.8 billion, and revenue more than tripling from 81 million to 250 billion. Even in this bear case, I think that's too optimistic from Kathy Wood and uh, ARC. Uh, for one, I think the revenue per cars sold, so they're expecting roughly triple, right? Uh, more than triple cars sold and more than triple EV revenue. 
I don't think that EV revenue will more than triple if the cars sold increases by this magnitude. For one, because I think if Tesla does indeed increase the number of cars it sells by 4 million units by 2029, that's going to be a result of a lower priced model or continuously lower pricing, right? Making improvements, decreasing costs, that's what's gonna unlock more purchases. So you're not gonna increase revenue by the same amount you're gonna increase the number of cars sold. I don't think that's going to be the case. As we've seen evidence, consumers are not buying EVs at current prices. Less than one out of 10 consumers are choosing electric vehicles in the US at current prices. Similar story in Europe, although not as bad as in the US. So I think for Tesla to increase the number of units sold, the price per car needs to decrease. Secondly, autonomous ride hailing revenue of 603 billion just for Tesla in 2029, I think is way too optimistic. In fact, if you look at the forecast from Statista for the revenue of the ride hailing market worldwide from 2019 to 2028, they forecast that in 2028, ride hailing revenue will total $215 billion. That's the total market in 2028. And that would be up from $153 billion in 2023. So Kathy Wood's ARK Invest is forecasting that Tesla will generate more revenue then Statista is forecasting for the entire market. Not only that they will generate more revenue, but they will generate roughly more than twice the amount of the total market expectation for 2029. Uh, the forecast for Statista was for 2028, but it's just one year past. Now, you can understand that this mark this forecast is extremely optimistic and i'm looking at their bear case i'm not even considering the bull outcome right i'm looking at their bear case and it already looks way too optimistic both on the ev front and on the autonomous ride hailing front and this is assuming that they do indeed achieve autonomous ride hailing we haven't even considered the fact that it's been so difficult to get to autonomous rides overall tesla has zero autonomous cars on the roads today and this is assuming just five years from now where they have zero autonomous cars on the road to generating 603 billion in revenue from autonomous cars so that's a large leap to make and even if you're making that leap that they're going to have this technology they're going to be out on the roads the second highly unlikely outcome is that they generate 603 billion in revenue uber which is one of the largest in market share in ride hailing currently in their last four quarters they didn't even generate 80 billion in gross bookings on rides not even in gro i'm not looking at the revenue i'm looking at gross bookings how much customers pay so not even 80 billion in the previous four quarters for the ride hailing company with the greatest market share worldwide so this is assuming that tesla achieves 8x of what uber achieved in the most recent trailing 12 months again i think it's too optimistic so overall i think the forecast from kathy wood and tesla is not just optimistic but i think way too optimistic I think the share price forecast for Tesla for 2029 is way too optimistic. Even if you grant some of the assumptions made in the forecast, even if you grant that Tesla will achieve autonomous ride hailing and it will generate a certain amount of revenue from that segment, assuming it'll go from zero to 603 billion in revenue in just five years time, I think is way too much of a stretch. So nothing new here. Uh, Kathy Wood and ARC, even later on in this report, they disclosed that, you know, this report should be taken with a grain of salt. Assume there's a lot of risks with this forecast and 
they note again as if investors need to remember that they have a bias towards positive outcomes for tesla and tesla stock did you know that over 90 percent of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed it'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button and oh by the way one of the benefits of being subscribed is that i take requests from subscribers more often than i do from non-subscribers so if you prefer that benefit please subscribe to the channel